Hi, good evening, everyone. Today, we are going to go ahead and understand what is Indian Economic Service. Indian Economic Service, kis ko bolte hain, isme kya hota hai, ye hum aaj ki video mein samjhenge. So, Indian Economic Service is an organized Group A Central Service. Group A Central Service means you are going to be very, very close to the central government. Aapke jo bhi kaam hoonge, wo central government se kaafi closely associated hoonge. Aapke bohut zyada transfers nahi hoonge. It will be a very less number of transfers job. It will be a settled life. Jahaan par aap hai, zyada tar aapko wahi par hi reh kar kaam karna hooga. It will have less political interference. Political interference zyada nahi hoongi. It is as good as Indian Administrative Service. Wo bhi ek central government job hoti hai. Aur ye bhi ek central government job hoti hai. So that ways it is a very good job opportunity. It was constituted in 1961. Thik hai ji? 1961 mein government ko realize hua ki ek alag se hume sector uh, chahiye, ek alag se hume not sector, ek alag se hume uh, uh, set of people chahiye, jo India ki economy ko samjhe, India ki policy making mein kaam kare, India ki public system ko evaluate kare, India ki development mein help kare and that is when Indian Economic Service came. So, Indian Economic Service was aimed at rendering advice for development of policies, for monitoring good public system, for undertaking economic analysis. So, these people are, so, so if, even if you see today, uh, the people in Indian Economic Service are majorly involved in giving uh, decisions in policy making. Just say for example, Let's say government ko, uh, apne ek, ek, um, um, government ko GDP ko increase karna hai. Thik hai? Now we know that to increase GDP, the government must go ahead and do fiscal expenditure. We know that when, uh, in economics it is taught that when G increases, Y will increase. Through the multiplier effect, right? But ye kaise hoga? Kaise government expenditure jo hai, wo badhaya jai? Should it be through the uh, building of the flyovers? Should it be through the education system? How should I increase government expenditure? That is also being taught as part. I mean, that is what these people have to implement. So, jitna bhi policy making hai, decision making hai policies ka, uh, designing of the policies hai, uh, income tax kitna hona chahiye, income tax labs kya honge? Right from there to everything else. Everything is where these people take into uh, IES is involved. Now, this is a very, very big job. It's a very prestigious job. It's one of the most prestigious jobs in the country. And it is, it is um, it directly comes under the <coughs> Ministry of Finance and it is headed by the Cabinet Secretary. IES ke bhi apne kuch rules hote hai. Ye rules bhi 1961 mein hi aate hai, IES first time launch hua tha. Or IAS or IES dono hi apne set of rules ke saath aata hai. So the IES also comes with, it, with its own set of rules. Now, just like IAS, just IAS mein aapki ek compulsory, mandatory, um, heavy training hoti hai labasna mein, waise hi IES mein bhi aapki ek compulsory training labasna, labasna mein hoti hai. So there is a compulsory training that every Indian economic service person, after he clears the interview, has to go through at Labasna. And it is followed by a specialized training, IES. Ki jo, ma, uh, compulsory training, mein aap baki sare IES, jo hote hai, wo IAS, ke and baki sare officers. Ke hote hai. But then we have a specialized training only for economics people. And that is in Indian Economic Growth Center, which is there in New Delhi. So if you have ever gone to North Campus, kabhi bhi agar aap North Campus mein gai ho, you will find this institute. Thik hai? To IEG, Indian Economic Growth jo hai, is center mein ek specialized training bhi hoti hai. Now there is field training plus there is international attachments to 
फॉरेन इंस्टीट्यूट आल्सो तो ऐसा नहीं है कि आपको सिर्फ बुकिश नॉलेज मिलेगी इट्स नॉट दैट यू जस्ट हैव टू रीड सम बुक्स इन द ट्रेनिंग राइट दैट्स नॉट द केस you will be given field training also so you have so for example i know one of my friend recently uh she she uh, ranked uh, in in the top ies officers uh, i mean she cracked the interview just this year so she is um, uh, she went to a village right and she met with the panchayat system right and there she uh, evaluated the entire system so she was there for a week okay so एक दो हफ्ते के लिए आपको किसी किसी छोटे छोटे विलेज में भेजा जाता है जहां पे आप वहां के पूरे सिस्टम को समझते हो वहां की प्रॉब्लम्स को समझते हो वहां क्या सॉल्यूशन दिया जा सकता है वो समझते हो सो so, पूरी फील्ड ट्रेनिंग भी आपको दी जाती है उसके बाद यू आल्सो हैव इंटरनेशनल अरेंजमेंट दिस शोज हाउ ग्रेट दिस दिस पोस्ट इज कि ना ही सिर्फ इंडिया से बट इंडिया के बाहर के कॉलेजेस के साथ भी हमारी एक अटैचमेंट है नाउ हु आर द नोटेबल मेंबर्स आई नेम जस्ट फ्यू एक्चुअली देयर आर मेनी बट डॉक्टर मनमोहन सिंह मॉन्टे मॉन्टेक सिंह आलूवालिया पी एन धार दीज आर सम ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट मेंबर्स दैट वी हैव एक बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट बात यहाँ पर समझने वाली है कभी भी कोई भी आई मे बी रॉन्ग बट यू नीड टू चेक दिस कभी भी कोई भी आई ए एस ऑफिसर प्राइम मिनिस्टर की पोस्ट पे नहीं रहा है नेवर एवर हैज एन आई ए एस ऑफिसर बीन अ पी एम ऑफ आर कंट्री बट एन आई ई एस ऑफिसर हैज एक्चुअली बीन द पी एम ऑफ आर कंट्री आई ई एस ऑफिसर has been the pm of our country that's how great indian economic service is right okay now the the best part is here ias or ies ka jo pay scale hai wo ekdam same hai they have the same pay scale both ias and ies in ies you have 40% direct recruitment and 20% percent departmental recruitment uh 40 sorry 60% percent direct recruitment and 40% percent departmental recruitment matlab kya ratio aa gaya ji ratio aa gaya 3 is to 2 so agar five post khali hongi if there are five vacancies three will be through direct recruitment and two will be through departmental recruitment this is how the posts are filled this is different फॉर आई एस आई ए एस के लिए ये अलग है बट आई ई एस में रेशियो थ्री इज टू टू का है ओके लेट मी जस्ट टेक यू थ्रू दिकल हेरारिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑल्सो सो हेरार क्या है कैसे किसके बाद क्या आता है ये भी जानना जरूरी है सो एट द फर्स्ट लेवल आई हैव इंडियन इकोनॉमिक चीफ इकोनॉमिक एडवाइजर नाउ गिव मी इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो हु इज the chief economic advisor of india today kon hai india ka chief economic advisor ye aapko mujhe batana hai so at the top we have the chief economic advisor then we have uh, the advisor then we have uh, the director under director we have deputy director and under secretary in deputy director we have uh, assistant director and section officer and then we have the indian economic service section support to aise hamari puri hierarchy chalti hai iski now what is the pay scale if someone asks you believe me that if by the time you go to the highest uh, position today current scenario mein if i talk about this the highest pay is anything up to is is about 2 lakh 50000 per month and extra benefits that you get because you are on the most prestigious job of the government so the pay scale jo iski salary hai it goes anything isme fixed hi aapka jo jo main last padha tha that was 80000 was fixed and then you have variables and then you have uh, da and then you have pa right so sum mila kar it is approximately 2 lakh 50000 and uh, this is monthly salary and then you have other 
things from the government sector also other benefits your pension is there the kind of respect that you get right and then at the end of the day you get to serve the government you get to serve not even the government i should say you get to serve your nation right india ke liye kaam karne ka mauka milta hai so that is one of the most prestigious things that can take place in one's life that you are repaying back to your country right so so this is this is what i wanted to discuss this is about indian economic uh, services and uh, in the next video we will go ahead and take some more important aspects related to ies okay thank you